Okay, so we are at the Octagon in Accra, Ghana, and we're here for the KUG Dog Show. And I'm right here with this boss man. But then if this is your first time, you kindly subscribe to our channel for more amazing dog content. I'm right here with the boss, I call him the boss man because he has over 30 years experience in dogs and he's the founder of the Doberman Club of Ghana. Boss, welcome to the show once again. Thank you very much, Solo. You're, you're looking good with your Doberman gang right here. Yeah, I mean, we do the best we can. Thanks. For sure, for sure, for sure. So how do you see today's dog show? Um, you know, like everything, we strive to improve. And this is an improvement on, on last year and the previous years. And because for one, we're not, um, we're shielded from the sun. So we don't have, we're not open to the elements um, of the weather. And then also, um, the organization of it is a, is a lot more professional than before. Um, so we're hoping that in December, the show will even be better than this, better organized than this, um, with a lot more dogs. You know, and, and, and quite frankly, I'm impressed. We've been impressed by the number of dogs without pedigrees that have come for assessment this morning. Um, to the extent that um, we, we exceeded the, the allotted time scheduled for them. It's, that's really good news. Um, for me, it tells, it tells us that um, people are ready and willing to do the right thing as far as breeding is concerned, which is um, basically breeding is maintaining, the, um, maintaining or improving the quality of the breed that you, you're, you're working with. Uh, and, and so the, the, more, of, the more people are, that are aligned, the, the better of the, um, the, dog, the dog population is and the people who are buying the dogs to are. So, so seeing the dogs that are present today, I'm sure you've seen some quality dogs right here and all of that. How do you see Ghana's dog industry? Since you have been in it for a long while now, comparing to back then and how the progress has been. I mean, the, it is improving. There's a vast improvement in the last, especially in the last, um, say, four or five years, there's been a vast improvement. Because you see, I mean, initially people will start with a dog that kind of looks like a Doberman or a Rottweiler or a German Shepherd. And, or, or they just say, oh, a foreign dog. You know, we've moved from that. A lot of people who are supposed to be breeders have moved from that. Um, um, beyond that, uh, and then they moved, the next stage they moved to was a dog with a pedigree. So they just go to either South Africa or Europe or the US, um, North America, and then get any mediocre dog with a pedigree. Because a, a pedigree actually doesn't guarantee quality. You know, it just, it just is the lineage of the dog. If the lineage is, is mediocre, the dog is mediocre. You know, so we got beyond that and then we got to the stage where people were looking for, say, champion of this, champion of that, champion of this, for only for mere confirmation shows. For some breed, that's work. that works fine. You know, but for like the double man, German Shepherd, Rottweiler, and everything, you have to look more because um, there are other tests of the character of the dog, which you have to understand. And that's what you have to look at to get the dog that you want. Unless you get a Rottweiler, a German Shepherd, or a double man that is, is, is behaves... I don't want to say like a poodle, but but behaves like a cat, you know, basically around the house, you know. Um, so we're we're getting there. We're getting there. I mean, that's that was my main reason for restarting breeding. I stopped breeding for quite a bit. I restarted breeding so that I can actually demonstrate how it's done, you know, and when, so that when people see, they will like, ah, how come your dogs are different from my dogs? Because I'm paying about the same amount when I import the dogs, um, but my dogs are not able to do any protection or defense or anything, you know. So. And people have seen it and they're already changing their stock, you know. So the breeding is also changing. It's, it's going to very soon, and we're looking at um, by 2022 or early 2023, we should be competing in Europe with some of the dogs. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. That is coming from the boss man, Mr. Kobe Yanda. And the name of his kennel is Pioneers of Africa. You can check them out Facebook, Instagram, Pioneers of Africa. Now, boss man, I can see your handlers right here. Everyone is ready for the show. I'd like you to introduce your lovely dogs to my lovely viewers. I'm sure they are loving the Doberman gang right behind us. <laughs> okay, um, so this is Pioneers of Africa, Africano Singleson. He was bred right here in Ghana, from our kennel. He's um, almost 18 months old right now. Um, that's his mother, Ace Ancora. Um, she's in, an import from Italy. Um, next to Ace is Real Ghana de Casa Fox. 
Real Ghana and Ace Ankura are African experience. And then this is one of my newest imports. That's Kapo. But Kapo is also related to Ankura. He's Ankura's sister's son. But because of the quality that Ankura has, I've brought in a male so that we can use him to mate other people, other females here locally. So between him, between Kapo and Africanus, they are cousins, they are first cousins. So they are going to, I'm going to be using them, the plan is to use them to improve the quality of the dogs locally. We have some other ones too, but um, they're not ready for it. We're hiding them away from this show. We'll release them in December. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I personally have seen a couple of them. And trust me, lovely viewers, when he's talking about quality, he knows what he's talking about. I just spoke to the boss man, Kobianda, of Pioneers of Africa and the founder of the Doba Man Club. Now, lovely viewers, let's admire these beautiful dogs from Pioneers of Africa. Boss, thanks for having me on the show. You're most welcome. Thank you.